Hello, I'm making a new video about the Gotway ACM that you can see here. It is a Gotway ACM 1300 watt hour. And I'm going to talk about the trolley handle and also the harness line that you can see on the picture. So this is the hardest line and you see also the rigid trolley handle. And as you can see there is also a rear light that I attached to the handle. Uh, the handle can be used for, for this purpose as well if you think that the original lights are not uh, bright enough. So that's the handle when you deploy it. It makes possible to, to go around with the unicycle like it would be a luggage or something. And then you can fold it like this here we go so now I will show uh, how convenient it can be to have the harness line when you are on the unicycle so you grab it like this you can move it you get on it and then when you are on it you easily grab it so that the unicycle doesn't fall just when you step out of it you can jump on and off typically when going up on and off curbs it can be quite quite convenient and then you can also pull out the the trolley handle and walk around like this and here we go so now I'm going to show how the harness line was um, was attached uh, as you see here, I use a carabiner to fix it. And this is the harness line, so that comes from windsurfing. I bought it in a shop specialized in windsurfing. As you see, it's a 24 inch uh, harness line depending on your, uh, your, how tall you are, it can be another size, maybe fits you better. And now we are going to set it around the handle of the ACM. Here we go for the back part and now yeah, we use the scratch to fix it well. And then the front part. There it's not possible to, to fix it exactly the same way. So we use the carabiner. We pass it in. And here we go. We just need to pass the scratch in and we are done. We can grab it and carry it around. Let's turn it on. Of course, it's much easier to carry it around. Uh, I mean, to take it with with the harness line when it's on 
when it's off it's um, it doesn't feel very good to uh, it's not very stable and so now I'm going to show how the um, the rigid harness line was mounted and how I did the do-it-yourself job uh, you have to take care of course that when you put it you have to set it high enough so that it doesn't prevent the charger to be put in in place uh, it has to be a little bit up here you can see how I fixed the unicycle and I used a marker to precisely point the locations where I am going to drill holes that's a bit of tricky part to measure it very precisely where the holes are, are needed so here you see the little point where I, I'm going to drill the hole and I started by just using a, a hammer and to, to point a, a little uh, start for the hole and then I, I started drilling and as you can see I protected the wheel itself with um, this thing and here you can see the second hole on the, the left side and now we have so we have two holes quite symmetric hopefully as yeah here you see both holes and you see the light passing through them and fortunately i didn't uh, damage the the wheel itself only uh, the shaft and now it's time to use the zip ties it's sometimes a little bit tricky to pass them through and then you can you can tie them around like this and as you can see it's still possible to uh, put the charger in place um, now yeah i used this setup but that setup was not solid enough it broke uh, after the unicycle fell once so i suggest to use this setup that is a little bit different with three different ties uh, zip ties at the top uh, it's much more it's much tougher and it's much more stable also for the for the trolley handle it's attached uh with the metal part and not with the plastic part so i think it's much safer this way so like this i think you have seen in detail how i fixed both harness line and the rigid trolley handle i hope this was useful and uh, i wish you a very nice a very good day thanks for watching and see you next time